टेन स्टूडेंट्स नेमली जयदेव जया जीवा जानकी ज्योति जसपाल जमुना जगदीश जयंती एंड जैसमिन ऑफ टेन डिफरेंट कॉलेजेस बट नॉट नेसेसरी इन द सेम ऑर्डर हैव एग्जाम ऑन फाइव डिफरेंट डेज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम मंडे टू फ्राइडे ऑफ द सेम वीक ईच स्टूडेंट हैव एग्जाम एट टू डिफरेंट टाइम स्लॉट्स नाइन ए एम और इलेवन ए एम ओके सो इफ यू ट्राइन अंडरस्टैंड मंडे टू देर आर लाइक हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स टेन स्टूडेंट्स नेम्स हैव बिन गिवन बट देर ओनली फाइव डेज Monday to Friday, and then there are two time slots. So looks like five days, two slots per day. Total, total ten slots, and we have to figure out which person has taken the exam in which slot. Like Monday nine a.m., Monday eleven a.m., Tuesday nine a.m., Tuesday eleven a.m., and so on. Right, total ten slots there, and I think the clues start from this point onwards. The number of people who have exam between Jamuna and Janki is same as the number of people who have exam between Jiva and Jagdish. Only two people have exam between Jas, uh, Jaspal and Jasmine. Neither Jyoti nor Jamuna does not have exam. Oh, oh, oh. Neither Jyoti nor Jamuna does not have exam on Friday. This doesn't look a proper English statement. Neither Jyoti nor Jamuna have exam on Friday, right? Or does not have exam on Friday. Neither Jyoti nor Jamuna have exam on Friday means what? These two girls will not have exams on Friday. But neither Jyoti nor Jamuna does not have exam on Friday. It's like negative into negative makes positive, right? Neither nor is negative. Does not is negative. Sentence becomes positive, which means Jyoti and Jamuna have exam on Friday. So Devinder, you have to clear this part. I'm highlighting it. This sentence is not very clear. Neither Jyoti nor Jamuna does not have exam on Friday. Mm -mm. I mean, assuming that. You mean that Jyoti or Jamuna does not have exam on Friday? We can try it out. Let's see. The next statement says Jayanti has exam on Tuesday at 9 a.m. So this is something which is straight given to us. Jagdish does not have exam at 11 a.m. Janki does not have exam on any of the days after Jyoti. So which means Janki has exam before Jyoti. Jayanti does not have exam on any of the days before Jamuna. Jaspal does not have exam on any of the days after Jagdish. Jaya has exam immediately before Jayanti. The one who has exam at 9 a.m. immediately before what the one who has exam at 9 am immediately before jasmine what is this the one who has exam at 9 am immediately before this looks incomplete to me the one who has exam at 9 am immediately before jasmine what does it mean janki has exam immediately after the day of the one who has exam on monday is fine which means janki is on tuesday right janki has exam immediately after the day of one who has exam on monday so janki is on tuesday jaspal does not have exam at 11 am only three people have exam between jamuna and jyoti so i think couple of confusions here but let's give it a shot so i think it looks like this monday tuesday we have wednesday thursday and friday these are the slots i mean these are the days and then there are two slots right 9 am and 11 am So what do we do? Anything that is given directly, I think one point which is given directly here is Jayanti has exam on Tuesday at 9 a.m. So Jayanti is on Tuesday 9 a.m. Right? Tuesday 9 a.m. That slot is done. So Jayanti is marked. Jagdish does not have exam at 11 a.m. Now what does it mean? I mean, of course, I've started from middle, but yeah, because some direct statement was given. Jagdish does not have exam at 11 a.m. means what? If he does not have exam at 11 a.m., it has to be 9 a.m. So Jagdish, I can say it is at 9 a.m. I mean, I don't know which day. So Jagdish at 9 a.m. Just put it around that. Okay. The number of people who have exam between Jamuna and Janki is same as the number of people who have between Jiva and Jagdish. This point anyway cannot be used immediately, right? Number of people between Jamuna and Janki is same as those between Jiva and Jagdish. Only two people have exam between Jaspal and Jasmine. Only two people have exam between Jaspal and Jasmine. This also cannot be used immediately. Then Janki does not have exam on any of the days after Jyoti. Janki does not have exam on any of the days after Jyoti, which means Janki has exam before Jyoti. 
but not useful immediately. Jayanti does not have exam on any of the days before Jamuna. Now look at this. This is interesting. Jayanti does not have exam on any of the days before Jamuna. So Jayanti's exam is not before Jamuna. Jayanti does not have exam on any day before Jamuna. Which means Jayanti has exam after Jamuna. Are able to follow? This statement indirectly means that Jayanti is after Jamuna. Jayanti does not have her exam before Jamuna. So if it is not before Jamuna, it has to be after Jamuna. Jayanti's exam is after Jamuna. Now we know that Jayanti is on Tuesday. So clearly Jamuna has to be on Monday. So uh, now which slot on Monday, 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. we don't know. So I'll just write Jamuna here. Jamuna will come on Monday. 9 or 11. That we don't know. Right? Jaspal does not have an exam on any other days after Jagdish. So Jaspal will be before Jagdish. But we don't know where Jagdish is. Jaya has exam immediately before Jayanti. Now look at this point also. Jaya has exam immediately before Jayanti. So Jaya has exam immediately before Jayanti means what? Jayanti is on Tuesday. So Jaya should be on Monday. Right? So Jaya will come here on Monday. So we know who are the two persons for Monday. Jaya and Jamuna. But their slots are not clear. It can be 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. I mean between those two. But maybe if you say Jaya has exam immediately before Jayanti. See Jayanti is 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Immediately before Jayanti is 11 a.m. on Monday. So maybe Jaya is at 11 a.m. on Monday. You're able to follow. See, when you say immediately before, is it immediately before only with respect to days or also with respect to time? If it is also with respect to time, then Jayanti is on 9 a.m. Tuesday. Jaya has to be immediately before Jayanti. So immediately before Jayanti is what slot? 11 a.m. Monday. So I think let's fix that. Let us see what happens. Jaya is at 11 a.m. on Monday. Jamuna is at 9 a.m. on Monday. Right? In the worst case, these two have to be reversed. Uh, the one who has exam at 9 a.m. immediately before Jasmine. This is incomplete. Janki has exam immediately after the day of the one who has exam on Monday. Huh, this point you see, Janki has exam immediately after the day of the one who has exam on Monday. So Janki has exam after the one who has taken his exam on Monday. So clearly Janki, if it is immediately after Monday, it should be Tuesday. On Tuesday, we have already got Jayanti. So the other slot should be for Janki. So this is Janki. You get it? Janki has the exam immediately after Monday. Then, Jaspal does not have exam at 11 a.m. Jaspal does not have exam at 11 a.m. So if Jaspal does not have exam at 11 a.m., it should be 9 a.m. So Jaspal will come for 9 a.m. Jaspal will have his exam at 9 a.m. Right? And only three people have exam between Jamuna and Jyoti. Only three people have exam between. So can we use this? Only three people have exam between Jamuna and Jyoti. Hmm. My confusion here is when you say three people. Yeah, I think with respect to slot only. So between Jamuna and Jyoti, there have to be three people. So who are the people between Jamuna and Jyoti? See, Jamuna is here. 9 a.m. Monday. So one, two, three. So I think uh, uh, Jyoti will come here. You're able to follow. Only three people have their exam between Jamuna and Jyoti. Means what? Jamuna has taken the 9 a.m. slot on Monday. What are the three slots after that? 11 a.m. on Monday, 9 a.m. on Tuesday and 11 a.m. on Monday, uh, Tuesday. So after these three slots, there should be Jyoti. So Jyoti comes on Wednesday. So I think five persons have been marked already. Let's try and fix the remaining five. Now read the statements once again. Uh, the first one here. The number of people who have exam between Jamuna and Janki. How many people have exam between Jamuna and Janki? See the number of people who have exam between Jamuna and Janki. Between Jamuna and Janki, we have two persons. Right? So the number of people who have exam between Jamuna and Janki is same as the number of people who have exam between Jiva and Jagdish. So between Jamuna and Janki, there are two persons. So between Jiva and Jagdish also, there will be two persons. Right? Between Jiva and Jagdish also, there have to be two persons. Keep that in mind. Only two people have exam between Jaspal and Jasmine. Only two people have exam between Jaspal and Jasmine. So between Jaspal and Jasmine also, there have to be two persons. So between Jiva and Jagdish, two persons. And between Jaspal and Jasmine, there have to be two persons. Right? Okay. Now I think one point that you can see here is, we know that Jagdish will take the 9 a.m. slot. Right? Jagdish will take the 9 a.m. slot. So if Jagdish comes on Thursday 9 a.m., when will Jiva come? After two slots or before two slots? Before two slots is not possible. It should be only after two slots. So then Jiva will come here. Jagdish here and Jiva here. Or there's one more possibility. If Jagdish takes up the Friday slot, 
then GY will come two slots before. So GY will come here. So I think two possibilities. Let's leave it. Jamuna and Janki also. Yeah, and the other one is Jaspal and Jasmine. They also have got two possibilities. Okay, let's move to the next point. I think whatever is underlined has been used. Look at this point. Janki does not have exam on any of the days after Jyoti. Oh, this is already done, right? Janki does not have exam on any of the days after Jyoti. Yeah, Janki is before Jyoti only. So see, this point which is given here, I'll highlight this point that has been given here is redundant. We don't need it. Janki does not have exam on any of the days after Jyoti. You know, we have already understood that Janki's exam is before Jyoti, right? Something that is not needed. Jaspal does not have, okay, Jaspal does not have exam on any of the days after Jagdish. Jaspal is not after Jagdish. Jaspal should be before Jagdish. Hmm, this is the key. Jaspal does not have exam on any of the days after Jagdish. So, Jag, you know, Jagdish, there are two possibilities. Jagdish will come either. Yeah, I think we are done. See, we know that Jaspal and Jagdish both will take up the 9 a.m. slots. So, the only possibilities are Thursday and Friday. And now we also know that Jaspal will not have exam after Jagdish. Jaspal should be before Jagdish. So, obviously, Jaspal will take 9 a.m. on Thursday and Jagdish will take 9 a.m. on Friday. Yes or no? Jaspal and Jagdish both have to take 9 a.m. slots. We know that from the given point that Jaspal will not be after Jagdish. Jaspal has to be before Jagdish. So, fixed. Now, we can do the remaining part of it. What is that? We know that there are two people between Jiva and Jagdish. Remember this point. The number of people between Jamuna and Janki is same as the number of people between Jiva and Jagdish. So, if there are two people between Jiva and Jagdish, where will Jiva come? See, Jagdish is 9 a.m. on Friday. Then... Jiva cannot come after this because there is only one slot available after that. So leave two slots before Jagdish. Two slots before Jagdish is 11 a.m. Thursday, uh, 9 a.m. Thursday and then this one. So I think Jiva will come here. You getting it? Two people between Jiva and Jagdish. One, two. These are two people in, between Jiva and Jagdish. So this point is also done. I will underline it. And the other point that we had seen is only two people between Jaspal and Jasmine. If there are only two people just between Jaspal and Jasmine, the only possibility is Jaspal is here. One and two and Jasmine would come here. Who's left out? Who's that person who's left out? Jaya is done, right? Jayadev. Jayadev would come here. Done. I think interesting question, but not very complex. So these are the, uh, this is the arrangement of these guys. Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. slots, right? And that's the order. So Jamuna, Jaya, Jayanti, Janki, Jyoti, Jiva, Jaspal, Jayadev, Jagdish and Jasmine.